All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Node.js and set it up on a Mac. It's actually really easy. You could probably figure it out yourself, but let's go ahead and do it. So click install. Do we want to go ahead and keep it? Yes, of course. That's what we're trying to do. It downloads real quick. So double click this package that you just installed. And by the way, the website is HTTPS Node.js.org. So make sure you're on that website. All right. So this is just a wizard. If you watched my last tutorial, if you probably didn't because that was for Windows, but it's really easy. Just click continue. Okay, make sure you read all that. Continue. Do you agree to it? Yep. And install this. All right, so that is it. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And just like the last tutorial now, since it installed a path variable, what we can do is we can open up our terminal. And if you can't see it, then if you go to Finder, and let me just go to Applications, it's in, hold on a second. Make sure you guys can see what's going on. All right. So if you go to your Applications, inside Utilities, you're going to see a program called Terminal. Now double click that, but I already have it open. So there you go. So from here, you can just type node, if you spell it correctly, wow, node, and then just to test that anything, put like console, log, um, you know, like tuna. So press enter, and it says tuna, undefined. That's good, that's what we wanted to see. It means that everything is installed and working correctly. So now let me quit this terminal, close, and check it out. So again, we obviously don't want to develop or write all of our code in that terminal. So what you can use and what a lot of people use is actually this program right here called Sublime Text. It's a text editor and it's completely free. Again, I highly recommend using WebStorm from JetBrains, but if you want a free one, then you can just go ahead and download this. It's really easy to download and install too. So download this. Dun, 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 dun. All right, double click this. And now if we double click it to open it, check out, let me, all right, are we sure we wanna open it? All right, don't warn me. Actually, we'll keep that just in case and open. And let me clean all this up. And now we have Sublime. So the first thing I want to do is actually just make a new file. And let me save this as, I'm going to store it right on my desktop. I have a directory called Bucky. Make sure that you save a file called app.js. And just like before, this is our main JavaScript file or Node.js file. That's It's going to look to first whenever it's running our Node.js applications. So again, like I said, our main file save it now just to test everything real quick i'm gonna put console log and i'll just write like bacon actually let me put yeah bacon i think i said tuna before all right so now make sure i save everything and now open up our terminal again and if i go to cd desktop Bucky that's gonna move me into this directory right here and if we press LS real quick we can verify that this work right here lists all of the files in your directory so we can see that we have one file that we just created app.js now in order to run this all we do is type node app.js now we hit enter and check it out it just logs out or prints out bacon to the terminal Beautiful, everything is working awesome. Now again, if you want to go ahead and continue using Sublime, feel free, everything is gonna work great. However, one more time, I'm gonna recommend WebStorm. That's what I'm gonna be using in the future tutorials. But uh, yeah, either way, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.